Hello folks, and welcome back to Europa Universe Alice 4 as Portugal. So, in the last episode, we, uh, we said screw you to Castile when they got declared upon by France. And friends, I guess? And friends is... I mean, Genoa. Genoa is friends in this context. But, uh, yeah, Castile got a little screwed over. The Pope said no. I think someone else said no. Now they've got no allies. Um, unfortunately, we have a truce for quite a while, so we probably can't directly capitalize from this, but I didn't really think we could take... I didn't think they could take France, and I didn't think that we could help them take France, and I just kind of figured this was fine. Not good, but fine. I would have liked to have had Castile fight one more war with us, and I don't know, we may have to get that friendship back in the future, but for now... Yeah, but for now, we're done with that. Let's bring back the diplomat. All right, Mr. Diplomat, tell me things. Tell me things. I need to know things. All right, to Tunis is... Oh, right, yeah, we're rival to Tunis, aren't we? Yeah, Tunis is never, never not going to join. Still... Tunis is way over here, and we're over here, and, you know, I think we're okay. I mean, if nothing else, we can block the strait and just siege down Granada. Let's have ourselves a look at the naval capabilities of good old Tunis. Right, they have they have 21 boats. Only nine of them are transports. Hmm. Very, very interesting. It is a thing we could do, though. It is a thing we could do. Uh, how about we... We factor in Granada's navy while we're... They have two transports. Okay, Granada does not have a navy. Is basically the information that has just been handed to me from off-air. Alright, so they've got six troops and Tunis, Tunis, Tunis. Alright, so they've got t 11 guys. Yeah, we can... Probably deal with that. We can probably deal with that. Now we're gonna run in, into a bit of an issue, which is when I put that to there, that looks like that. Hmm. I'd also have to take our fleet out of Mothball. I mean, I could dip down on colonial maintenance, but I'd rather not do that. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay running a deficit, and then we'll just, we'll take money, we'll, we'll take money when we conquer. It'll be fine. Not a big deal. Everything's, everything's fine. Sure. All of that, all of that is as it is. Can you get to Gibraltar? Maybe, maybe they'll, maybe they won't remember. Maybe they won't remember. You can come out of Mothball. Out of curiosity, Morocco, would people defend you? Plimkin would definitely, definitely defend you. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, you know what? we'll go back to improving here in England for now. And we'll just kind of see what happens. Alright, well France, France has won a fight, so I'm pretty sure that's basically the end of the line. Basically the end of the line for Castile. Damn it, Brittany. Why dis you do? Alright. Seriously... Did we find anything? How far away is this? 296. So that won't 
quite be in range when we get our next idea, as I remember it. Right, because that's plus 50, that's plus 25, so that's plus 120. So that'd put us at 280. Correct, so that's just out of range. Hey, we could... <laughs> 279 for Rio. We could colonize the Olympics. Sweet! Uh, how far away is the Caribbean, though? 262. So yeah, we can, we can get to Barbados. Have we? We have not discovered Bermuda. That's fair. Fair and fine. Out of curiosity, you could explore the North or the South Atlantic. Well, I'll tell you. I would rather you come over here. If I'm honest, that's where I'd rather see you. Brittany's sending money to Castile. 65 ducats? I could have gotten money for fighting France? You didn't mention that. Although, wait, that would mean I was fighting France, and that's, that's a bad idea. So, yeah, I, I like where we are. I think, I think this was a good idea. Yeah, nice talk, everybody. 66. This hasn't been raided. That has. Alentejo has. Spoa. Everybody else over here has, so, I mean, we definitely can pull our uh, anti-pirate guys out, out, off, off of guard duty. There we go. I get a word. No, that's a lie. One hundred percent lie. All right. Y'all off. You have one... Yeah, you've got one province. We're just gonna go ahead and... We're, we're gonna call that mine. 100% mine. Not sure I want to pay a 30% penalty. I'm really not sure that that's a thing I want to do. Argon is a long way off. Tell you what, let's... 754. I mean, sure. We'll just do that, and we won't have to worry about it for a while. And France is. They're doing their thing. They're doing their thing. Conquest of Navarra. Not a surprise. Alright, alright, so. Yeah, they're ways away from an actual fort. But, yeah, no, that's just not gonna be going well for Castile. Right, we're still married, but hey. Alright, what's the situation here? Actually, definitely should have had them, had the transports getting on mothballed as well. That was a mistake. Fair enough. Uh, kiss up to France a little more? Yeah, Pope man. Sure. Sure, we'll kiss up to the Pope man. Cause why not? Why not? Aww. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Austria. I mean, sure, let's improve relations with you. Just because you hate France and France hates you, there's no reason that we all can't get along. Speaking of getting along, why can't I get along more money? No, that's not, that's not how words work. It's not how words work at all. That's what we seem to get from Morocco. Wow! Privateering now. How dare you? How dare you, Morocco? Oh, wow. Really? 
yeah, our trade income is way down. Way down. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, as they say. Note that no one says that. Literally no one. Actual, factual, not a person. Roll over. Right, that's protection fleet. Seriously, Morocco? Seriously? Yeah, that's the anti-pirate fleet. Alright, remind me again. This Tunisian Navy has like... How many galleys? It's a non-zero yet. It's six more than zero, which is considerable. A considerable amount more. Alright. Probably wait another month there. Yeah, you guys come down here and we'll just give up on that front. I don't like it, but hey. Even more money we're losing. Yeah, that's pretty significant. Is there a chance? Yeah, no, apparently not. Yeah, no, apparently not. I with the Ottomans, Granada, and Jared. Yep, okay. Alright, well, we won't be co-belligerenting Tunis. Granada. France not even remotely interested in joining, which is fine. Let's declare this war. Let's move on them, shall we? Oh, really? That is... That's a lot of points. I assume that's going to jump down significantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Tunis joins, which is fine. Uh, I'm gonna mothball this fort, and I'm not gonna feel bad about it. General is in charge there, right? Yes, indeed. Now, you guys can go on about your duties. to the gulf. Hey, cool, we stack wiped him. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, come on back. Yeah, let's see if we can finish off the year with France. And honestly, I'd improve with Castile just, just to do so. Alright, I need how many? I need nine here. Fair. Although I don't need the general. For a great low rate. You, no. No, no, no. Anyway. Anyway. Fair enough. Alright, you guys come back over here. And then you guys can proceed onward with the siege duration and the siegeing and the siege machine. Something like that. How many boats do I need to detach, I wonder? Ah, state of assimilation? Good, good. That's coming along nicely. I kind of need those, frankly. I 
kind of need those. Um, cause, uh, cause things are tough. Times are rough. If I'm honest. It is not a good place we are trying to, uh, trying to colonize. Uh, 3-0, that's actually pretty terrible at this point. And against a 1-4, yeah, good luck with that, Castile. Uh, yeah, Arguin is pretty tough to colonize, is to finish off that thought, what I was trying to, uh, explain. Opinion... Oh, good, good. Tlemkin hates Tunis, so they can't even walk to me. Hooray! Hooray! All right. Well, let's let's improve with Castile. I mean, apparently they still love us. Okay. All right. Wool as a trade good. That's cool. Current price is two fifty. That's that's less cool. But it's still fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not. It's not a concern. Kind of looking for the Tunisian navy, but I'm also not looking that hard. Apparently. All right. What are we getting for blockades here? A lot for the blockade of Granada. Quite a bit for the blockade of Cabilia, actually. Uh, they don't have any boats there. They might be wandering around. Alright, so that is their light fleet. I mean, I don't want them to get reinforced. Forced is the issue, but I mean, I would like to sink that. That said, I don't think they're going to come out. I assume not, and I mean, this blockade should be worth quite a bit. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just remind them of who's in charge here. Oh God. How many points did I just waste? I feel terrible. Right, anyway, anyway. Uh, I mean, we're still like way ahead. 59 points. Sure, this gives us quite a chunk of money, actually. Oh wow, thanks to looting, we would be making positive money? It's beautiful. It's one of the best things I've heard. Uh, uh, could do it again. 414 is quite a return on investment. Right. I mean, they could just bump up one of these point five or one of these 54s. Uh, I mean, that has autonomy. That's probably not best choice sure uh, when I open up a building slot I would in Porto it's already got a bunch of building slots sure Alan Tejo and now I won't have to worry about points for a little while to be fair it'll be a very little while but hey hey we're the monkeys. People say we monkey around. Minster. Let's let's pretend that you're relevant, shall we? Man, that was I feel bad. That was almost mean. Okay, so robber barons. So we can piss off piss off the burgers or we could piss off the nobility either way either way we boost influence and everything else with the other folks and how much are we boosting influence by T 
10. So, yeah, the only ones I can... I really can't afford to do that with the nobility. <laughs> like, when does this stuff go away? 78, 68... Five years... Well... I mean, I guess we could do that. Yeah, but what can I get out of it, is the thing. If I did this, uh, this, rather. Right, they'd get 15 loyalty, 10 influence. When can I do that again? 68, yeah. So, in the meantime, I could raise levies if I needed to. Honestly, yeah, honestly, the Diplo points are more valuable to me right now. Let's do that. Wait, what? What? Alright, I guess I knew that something was coming up with them. And yeah, 68, we should be fine, right? This ticks up at one per, one per month. Yeah, one per month. Yeah, we're we're fine. Everything's everything's fine. All right, can we get anything out of the burgers? We could ask around the contribution. Eat up ten of their loyalty. Obviously, we could have focused on getting that up before we paid for development, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I am going to actually do that. I think it's fine. Alright. Alright. And we'll continue on. Leaving their army at home. Just chilling with their boats. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. Good, good, good. How's the siege coming? Eh, poorly. Poorly is how the siege is coming. Are there pious... Mountains, yeah, fair. Fair, fair, fair. Ha mm. Speaking of fair, I would say that is going fairly poorly. For Castile? Uh, looks like this war is going well for Hungary, though. Which. Interesting. Uh, let's top you off. Just go ahead and top you off. Everything should be fine. Latinance helping out Castile. Yet more interesting things. Hmm. 38 day sieges. Mountains. Mountains suck, man. Mountains are not cool. Alright, disagreeing advisor. So we could kill him, which would get rid of our army reformer. Which... I mean, to be fair... Oh, or I could lose 10 prestige. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll trade prestige for... Monarch points, it's fine. Of course, of course. There's no way we wouldn't get wouldn't get admin points there, but still, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right. What's the other thing this gives us? More sailors. Yes. Yeah, so nothing. Actual, factual, nothing. Anyway, though, colonial range has been improved. If I wanted to hemorrhage money, I could uh, recall this guy and send him somewhere else. A curiosity. You can't. You you can't tell me. You could tell me before. 
Why would you not tell me now? Oh, oh, because you're in rain, right? That's that's the joke there? Yeah, okay, that's why. Fair enough. I guess that makes sense then. Note that the main reason I was willing to lose a decent chunk of prestige is when you're negative, you build it back. So losing more means we do tick more up. It's not a huge deal, but I mean, it's it's getting some use out of just sitting around basically good i hope they stay gone i hope they stay away oh so we could boost our manpower recovery speed and get more yielding legitimacy or prestige rather hmm, we can get rid of some of this inflation which, to be fair, we don't have much of. We could gain yearly legitimacy, but that doesn't seem too important. Or we could gain taxes for a short time. We also go for, yeah, mercantilism or stability. I'll hold on to the points for now. Not in a huge rush. Hmm. <laughs> So many points. So, so many points. All right. Just developing so many places. So much development going on. All right, fair enough. Montejo. Get another point of development. You'll be fine. Absolutely fine. We'll come back from Castile. You know, they, they love us. They really do. They're huge fans. I mean, any day now, this fort's going to fall, right? Right? Like, super soon? Maybe not. Maybe not indeed. Okay, fair enough. Right. Right. World Charters. This is Global Settler Increase plus 10. Right. Right. I am on board with this. So let's do it. Something, something, pony. Well, you get, you get the message. Or maybe you don't. Either way. Either way is fine. Uh, come on. Eh? 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 Ottomans declared war on the Mamluks. Yeah, that's... That's not a surprise. Not a surprise at all. Wow. This, this not progressing for so long is... Uh, bit disconcerting. Wow. Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright. I could spy on one of my neighbors, which I've been told is a good idea. Hey, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna spy just a little bit on Castile. It's alright. It's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. just it's just a thing people do you know I mean bad people mostly but people nonetheless yeah I be paying closer attention there but I mean I mean at this point I'm just gonna dump some points there you were you were not not doing well in this war, Castile. Just just so we're clear, so we're all on the same page. Things are going po disease outbreak. Are you serious? All right, we do still have enough dudes to continue the siege, but damn it, damn it, game. Why dis you do? 
Why dis you do? <laughs> minor progress. I'm so happy to see minor progress. Anything at all happened and it makes me happy. Okay, so it's time for a new advisor. Uh, I mean, I could get a level 2 Master of the Mint. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a theologian. I guess I'm just going to go for this guy because I can kind of afford him, not really. Well, then again, I'm just gonna not run an admin advisor for a little while. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's not a not a huge deal. Everything's gonna be okay. Nobody panic. I'm mildly panicking. That's that's a lot of French dudes. Fair enough. Fair enough. So 57. There's a 56. You say? Sure. Just put that there. Wow. Okay, it's time for that again. That's that's very unfortunate. Uh, so they took slightly more than just Navarra. Navarra, Pyrenea, Vizcaya, Rioja, Burgos, Cantabria, Asturias, Leon, and they made them release Galicia, which, holy crap, holy crap, Galicia. Holy crap. So, uh, Castile's got problems, and we're going to try to help them in later episodes. Speaking of which, this is the end of this one. Thank you for watching, folks, and I hope to see you next time.